my Wolfpack and welcome to the ICPL week two and yeah I'm a bit flustered because um, I hit search when I wasn't expecting to search. Um, yeah, hello. I don't know what to lead with. Um, this is quite a scary scene, if I'm honest. Um, a Shifu does put a lot in, but no Scizor, that's interesting. That's quite, that's really interesting. Definitely drought there on the nine tails. I think I lead with Lando. I think I lead with Lando. I think that's the sensible play. Honestly, Lando can take out a lot of these mons. Um, there is a lot of weakness to ground here. There's four four mons that are really weak. Um, the uh, Scream, Scream Tail. Let's say Scream Puff. That's not Scream Puff. Scream Tail is definitely very scary. And the Iron Jugulus could be quite scary as well. Um, let's see. There we go. So, yeah, we are, we are going. And... I have no idea what I'm doing. I've, I made this team yesterday morning. Yeah, I can't remember anything about it. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm unsure if Gabe has a YouTube channel or anything. So do go and um, check out the description if there is one. Yep, the screen tail. That is fine. Probably going to be leftovers realistically. So, I think at this point we just trade rocks. Because I think he definitely his plan is going to be rocks. Going to be honest, Screamtail can't do much in terms of the offensiveness. Oh, a trick. Okay. If that tricks me into a choice scarf, that's fine. A ring target. Oh, okay. Okay. So that gives me um, kind of ground and electric. Electric is kind of scary now. Does this thing have electric moves? I could just go straight into um, Raichu here. If it's thinking I'm doing an electric. Let's just, just double check what ring target does. Because I know I've seen it before, but I can't actually remember. Nice to have my Pokemon. Moves that would normally have no effect to do. So the tight matchup will still hit the holder. So, I reckon there's going to be an electric type attack coming here. So, sensible play is going to Raichu. That's the sensible play. I mean, I could have U-turned out and got some damage off, to be fair, but... No, I think it was faster than us. Okay, going for the Stealth Rocks as well now. That is fine-ish. Not fine, but I have definitely planned for um, this. I have got... I have got... What's it called? I can't think what it's called. Um, I have got Rapid Spin on uh, my... Can't think what it's called. On my Sand Slash. That's it. Uh, we are just going to go for a Thunderbolt here. We're going to see what happens. So he's definitely thinking about this. I really am not sure. I think Sand Slash is my win com. I think Sand Slash is my win com. But I don't know. I'm a bit nervous. Does go for the straight withdraw, so could be going to Regieleki here. Poison Sponge. Oh, okay, that does go for the Clod side. To be fair, I probably should have anticipated that. Now, do I care about Raichu? What does Raichu do? Not a huge... You know, it does actually do a reasonable amount. Um, so, to be fair, I was saying about him having a ground weakness. I also do have a ground weakness. I have a massive ground weakness, especially with the ring target on now. I am going to hit a Psychic on this thing and see how much damage this will do. Okay, reasonable amount. Reasonable amount. Toxic, interesting. Interesting play with the Toxic. Um, definitely an Earth Power Earthquake would have blitzed me. 
Uh, well, that, that being said, Claude Sire doesn't have a huge amount of... Um, what's it called? I'm just going to go for another Psychic here. There's no point not to. Anything that wants to come in, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. As soon as this thing goes down, honestly, it makes my day so much easier. But ring target play was a very good play on Landress, to be fair. That was a, that was a very good play. Let's see. He's definitely looking at who to go into now. I would expect to potentially see Gouging Fire. Does go for the withdrawal. He's going to conserve this thing. Skipper. What is Skipper? Okay, Reggie Alecki. Does take some damage from the stones. Wow, that did a ton of damage. That did an absolute butt ton of damage. Um, I'm going to Volt Switch out here. There's no reason... Well, I mean, I could still go for a Psychic, but... I think a Volt Switch out here makes the most sense. I don't know if it's going to take it out. Considering how much Psychic did, it might actually take it out. He goes to the Vault Switch as well, okay. That's fine, I'll see what wants to come in. Oh, it is Life Orb as well, so that is guaranteed to die on the next time it comes in if he hasn't got a way of getting rid of the hazards. The only thing I don't want to see come back in is the Plot Sire now, but he could definitely, like, it. I could definitely be going for Psychic, so that would be a very risky move. But we can definitely come in with something relatively powerful next. I feel like I'm going to hiccup. <laughs> so he's really thinking this plays out. Really thinking this plays out. Um, and I'm really not. <laughs> I'm not considering what options I have. I don't know who my win condition is. I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm completely honest. I'm just going with it. That the Raichu is already putting in the work, I think is absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'm very, very proud of Raichu. We have got um, rocks on our side of the field, so we do need to consider that. Gotcha. What is gotcha? Okay, oh, yeah, we already saw that. Right, so I am going to go into... Does this thing get flamethrower? Yeah, I'm going to go sand slash. I'm going to terror in case it goes flamethrower. And I'm going to Rapid Spin. So Terra, Rapid Spin. Because this is the only one that I can Terra anyways. And honestly, the ground type attack does fantastic. Plus one. I should have to be half his team. He could just go for a straight switch here. He could definitely just go for a straight switch here. And to be fair, I don't mind. He hasn't got any ghost types, at least that I can remember. Burn King. So, that does do a fair amount of damage. I'm now terroring, which is fantastic, because that means that he is uh, in a pretty negative situation. Um, but that being said, I have got quite high defense. I have quite high natural defense. So I get rid of the hazards on my side of the field, to be fair, which is absolutely incredibly helpful. And I think I just go for Earthquake here. I don't think I outspeed it. I realistically, I definitely do not outspeed it, considering how rubbish Sand Slash is. Burning... I've never actually seen this move. Protected itself. Okay, I did not know it did that. I did not know it did that. I don't know what that move is. Honestly, I haven't really come to grips with the new Mons. Um, I know about Walking Wake and how to use that one, but 
any of the new ones I don't really know. Definitely this could be the um, Iron Jugulus Slice. Yes, yeah, so the Iron Jugulus does come out. Uh, does take in some damage there. Um, go for the booster energy. Is that going to be uh, special attack? Yep, it goes, does go special attack. I definitely could go for Ice Spinner here. Um, what does this go for? I don't even know what moves this really has. Um, I'm not willing to let, 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 let Sand Slash go down yet. Let's just check what my actual kind of um, stats are. So, uh, realistically, Iron Moth is the best one to go into. I don't. This doesn't get any ground type attacks. I'm gonna swap in Iron Moth. I think. Let's let's go for it. Let's let's see what's what's guaning here. I don't think this gets Earthquake. So my special attack is also heightened now. Tailwind. Ooh. That's scary. Right, what comes in? I mean, nothing barring Clod Sire wants to take a Sludge Wave, but even if um, it comes in, the Psychic can hit it really friggin' hard. So yeah, let's just keep Sludge Wave. He does go for the sponge. I don't know, does this thing... I, I should have gone Psychic, to be fair. That was such an obvious play. Does this thing outspeed me? There's no way this thing outspeeds me. Let's go Psychic. Yeah, there's, I was going to say, there's no way that thing outspeeds me. Um, and that has just used another turn of the Tailwind, which is quite nice. Yeah, I was going to say, Clodsire has like base 20 speed. If it can outspeed an Iron Moth and Tailwind, then wow. Then wowza. Reggie Alecki can come in now and do some damage. But now I can just hit Sludge Wave on anything. Gotcha. Oh, okay. This thing potentially is going to be faster. This, in fact, I think this thing is going to be faster. But, we are going to just Sludge Wave again. Psychic Fangs. Ooh! Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Um, yeah, but that thing goes down. And this should be Tailwind's ending. Yep, Tailwind's gone. So, Iron Moth should be the fastest thing unless there's a Scarf Mon come out. Um, but Iron Moth, to be fair, has done an absolute lot with taking out those two. Um, honestly, two of the scariest mons, in my opinion. Um, Sunshine. Okay, so we're going to bring out the Sun. Unless this thing is Scarfed, I out I'm pretty sure I outspeed. I'm just going to Sludge Wave. This thing could definitely never hit. It does never hit. I do get the poison though, which is kind of helpful. Uh, flamethrower, Psy Shock. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, do I go into my Nine Tails now? Right, I think he definitely comes out with. Um, I'm going to come out with Nine Tails. I'm going to come out with Nine Tails. Let's make sure that Entei is not getting um, its use there. To be fair, it's now going to be down quite a bit in its health. 
The thing is, I could Chilling Water right here. Part of me wants to Aurora Veil, though. I feel like Aurora Veil is a safer play, considering... What has he got left? Regilecki. Um... I'm going to go for an Aurora Veil. I'm going to go for an Aurora Veil. And this thing can take me out as much as what... Oh, that's not going to give it that much health back. That is a... Uh... Oh, no, I did... Oh, no, no! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, dear. To be fair, that would have just that would definitely killed me. Um Right, this time, do we go Moonblast? Do we go Freeze Dry? I think Moonblast is probably gonna be the best the, the, the best bet. But chilling water will definitely lower will should lower its attack. I mean you know, it should live another hit. So I'm gonna do that. I could have swore that there was a 100% chance that Chilling Water lowers... What ability does Ente get? <laughs> uh, have I just really not researched this at all? Okay, that is doing... Uh, okay, I've definitely got more um, Moonblast than he has... Uh, morning Suns. As soon as the Aurora Veil goes down, that's fine. Which could be this turn, could be next turn. Aurora Veil wore off. Okay. So, we're just going to get Aurora Veil again. Then if he wants to get Flare Blitz, that's fine. It does mean he takes a lot of damage. And I can um, bring in... What's its name? I can bring in a Shifu. You know what? Actually, we're running out of time. Not time, we're running out of um, sun. So let's do this. Yeah, okay. It has clear amulet. Okay, I see. I see. Um, I'm tempted to go body slam in case he switches into Jugulus. Or do I just Earthquake and then body slam when that comes in? I'm just going to Earthquake. Burning Volquard. I don't actually know what that ability does, but, you know. Snow stops, that's fine. Now do I body slam. Expecting a switch. I could U-turn expecting a switch, and even if there is a switch, I can then get it. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do that. Does go for the whip draw, okay, so we are going to see the Jugulus. I should have gone for the Body Slam. Well, actually, no, I don't know if the Body Slam would have done a great deal, but that thing is taking a ton of damage now. It's going to take neutral damage from my U turn. Uh, that gives it. A yeah, that is a very low health. Um, now I think I just come in with a Shifu. No, I go into Raichu and I Volt Switch. Oh no, Regieleki's dead. That's fine. That's fine. Regieleki's dead on switching, so um, surging strikes is fine. Yep. Yeah, so there we go. That is a dead high dragon. Raw 
Gale's gone. To be fair, I'm in a pretty solid position. All I need to do is set up the snow. Three and sand slash and just click on earthquakes um, continuously. That's going to take a ton of damage. Um, I, I'm assuming that whatever... It's going to go... He's going to go for that baneful burn, whatever it is. Like baneful bunker, but a fire move. I'm going to go back to Landorus because he's going to go into that and I can then just click out Earthquakes. If he goes for Flare Blitz, then fair enough, but he takes a ton of damage from that. He does, he does, okay. So, there we go. I think we have done it. I think we've won. Okay... That's fine, because it doesn't do anything to me. I'm assuming it's it just burns the burns any physical contact. Uh, <laughs> I didn't plan for it at all. I did not even realise that... Uh, I didn't even think about Entei's, like, um, specialist move. This should take it out. Yeah, there we go. Um, and um, Regilecki comes in and dies to the hazard, so... GG, dude. Honestly, um, that made me think. That made me scratch my head a little bit. Not physically, but mentally. So, yeah, GG. Um, I think, what was that, a 4 oh? So I think we've redeemed ourselves from last week. We didn't embarrass ourselves. That was a 5 oh. We did embarrass ourselves a little bit um, last week with... Um, well, I made a stupid play this week as well. I double clicked into Aurora Veil, which was absolutely stupid. Um, but yeah, GG, dude. Honestly, um, really enjoyed that match. I was surprised there was no Sizzle. Like, Sizzle actually against my team comes quite nice, especially with things like Bullet Punch. Um, but I shouldn't be telling you this kind of thing, because if we battle again, then that's going to be a problem. Um, but yeah, uh, GG, dude. Honestly, um, had a good, good battle. Um, and yeah. I'm going to finish this off here, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. You know, I am rambling all the time, but if you guys are listening to it, then great. If not, then also great. Anyways, have a lovely one, and I'll see you soon.